Hey guys, this is Ambi from AndrogChance.com and welcome back to my MLB betting model projections, picks and predictions if you like. Uh, I will be short today. Uh, I have five qualified bets and I'm sitting at 130 wins, 100 losses, uh, plus 30.90 units of profit, which means close to uh, around uh, 30,000 American dollars for dime bettors, which is great. Uh, also beating the line most of the time. And uh, today I have five qualified bets. And as I said, I will be short today because yesterday uh, I have created one hour video. I was talking a little bit more about the mindset. And uh, when, when I uploaded the video, I uh, quickly got first dislike. So this was always very interesting to me uh, and funny uh, because there are people in the world uh, who have anonymous accounts, they hide in front of their computer and they go on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and they give dislikes, they comment uh, on their anonymous accounts. This was always very funny to me. I'm not judging, but this is all, this, this is always, this was always very funny to me. Uh, anyway, uh, I will be quick today. As I said, uh, I will share my winning percentages, my projections, my projected odds, of course. Uh, we will compare with bookmakers odds and then I will give you my value bets for today. Today is Thursday, uh, June 1st, uh, but I want to start with one quote, okay? Uh, the cost of not knowing how to make $100,000 from betting or $10,000 or even $1,000 from betting uh, is precisely that, $10,000 American dollars, okay? So if you bet... Uh, and if you don't make money and if you don't invest in your betting knowledge, this is exactly the cost, okay? How much you are missing. And I didn't even take into account how much money people lose during years, okay? So if you don't make at least 10,000 American dollars per year from sports betting, uh, this is the cost, okay? This is the cost. Okay, and if you lose more than, and if you lose something, uh, and if you lose for years, then this is a cost. Okay, every dollar you don't earn because of lack of knowledge is a dollar lost. That's the true cost of betting uneducated. Okay, and this is something. This relates not only to sports betting, but anything. Okay, because um, people jump into businesses, into different uh, things without uh, being uh, without being uh, educated and they are missing a lot okay either they lose either they don't make enough money so even if you make i don't know if, if you have a salary um in one year i don't know twenty five thousand american dollars instead of i don't know one hundred thousand american dollars and that's only because you are uneducated or you didn't gain the skill or you didn't go to seminar in your job maybe you become more special better specialist at your own work uh, or you need to make some extra exams because of that and you will be qualified for bigger salary then uh, the cost of that education is not you know it's not i don't know 1000 american dollars for a seminar or 50 dollars for a book or something like that the difference is 75000 american dollars okay uh, this is something we need to understand okay uh, so let's go to today's bets and I hope we win some. Yesterday I went 2-3 minus 6.6 units of loss. Uh, but let's go today to today's games. We have a couple of games. Milwaukee against Toronto, Freddy Peralta against Kevin Gaussman, two right-handed pitchers, and I give Toronto 70.90% of chance to win this game. My projected odds minus 244. Bookmakers minus 189, uh, and I have Toronto money line at 1.5 unit. Okay, I have Toronto full game, I have Toronto first five innings as well. As you see, I also have Miami Marlins, uh, they are underdog against San Diego Padres. Yesterday, they beat uh, San Diego. Uh, today, uh, San Diego will start with Joe Musgrove, uh, Miami Jesus Luzardo. Uh, based on my projections, Miami should be small favorite. As you see, those are my numbers. And bookmakers have them at plus 105. And because of that, I have Miami at 1.25 unit. Of course, those are the odds, bookmaker odds. I'm always doing uh, my betting models against pinnacle odds. This is the, uh, the most uh, fair way, okay? Because I could use some shady bookmakers, some shitty bookmakers, and you can get much, much, much better odds. And you can manu manipulate with these odds. But in reality, these odds cannot be bet, okay? Uh, 
Uh, but if you bet, uh, and even if you build a betting mall, uh, always go against pinnacle odds. Go against the best. If you can beat them, then you can beat and beat uh, beat other bookmakers as well. Okay, not bookmakers, also the market. This is uh, another topic. Philadelphia, New York Mets, Walker against Scherzer. Uh, based on my projections, uh, New York Mets should be minus one hundred and seventy-seven. Bookmakers minus one hundred and sixty-seven. So maybe small value with Mets, but for me, this is still not good enough because there's not enough discrepancy between my numbers and bookmakers' numbers. Colorado, Arizona, Chase Anderson, Zach Davis, as you see, not qualified and adjusted Kelly criterion uh, number is zero, which means that my numbers, my probabilities and bookmakers' probabilities are basically the same, very close, okay? Uh, Cincinnati, Boston, Hunter Green, Chris Sale. Uh, we have right-handed pitcher and lefty. Uh, I love Chris Sale. Uh, he's back. He's pitching. Uh, his numbers are uh, are good. But I have uh, some value with Cincinnati in first five innings. Okay, and I'm taking Cincinnati uh, not to lose in first five innings. So this is uh, plus zero point five small run line in first five innings. So the bet is a winning bet if Cincinnati doesn't uh, lose in first five innings. It can be a tie, uh, and uh, Cincinnati can lead after five innings. At one unit, uh, okay. And the last game, Minnesota. As you already see, Minnesota. I have Minnesota money line at 1.5 unit. Uh, BB against Pablo Lopez. Based on my projections, Minnesota should be a little bit bigger favorite. I have them at minus 177. Bookmakers minus 132. Uh, I have them at 1.5 unit. And then the last game, I will skip uh, this game. Uh, maybe later I will make. Uh, projection again, but uh, Houston pitcher will be decided later, but I'm not sitting all day in front of computer and in front of uh, numbers. Um, I am doing uh, I'm doing my own numbers and this is how I select bets, okay? So I hope that my numbers will help you to make bets. Uh, today I put the mic a uh, little bit uh, uh, far away from me, so I think the sound will be a little bit better. Yesterday, the sound was wasn't better. I, I think I was too close uh, to microphone, but uh, that's not uh, that important. Okay, so let's make a quick recap. Uh, Toronto money line, Toronto first five inning, Miami Marlins money line, Cincinnati first five inning plus zero point five uh, run line, and Minnesota money line. Okay, those are all my qualified bets, and as I said. After two months, today is June 1st, so after two months, 30 units of profit. I think this is pretty okay. Thank you for watching, and if you take these bets, I wish you good luck.